Hello, today we're going to take a look at simplifying and solving equations by combining like terms. Remember, like terms are any terms that have the same var variable and the same power. So for example, 3x and 7x are like terms because they both have the same variable, x, and they're both raised to the same power. In this case, they're both raised to the power of 1. x to the 1 can just be written as x. So since they have the same variable and the same power, these are like terms, and it means that we can add them or subtract them. Constants like 6 and negative 8 are also considered like terms and can be combined. So if we were to add these two terms, we would have 6 plus negative 8, which would give us negative 2. So let's take a look at an example where we'll use this to solve an equation. So the equation is 2x plus 3 plus 5x equals negative 11. So to start, we're going to combine like terms on the left side of the equation because we only have one term on the right side. So on the left side, we have to first find our like terms. In this case, our like terms are 2x and positive 5x. When you're looking for like terms, make sure you grab the sign in front of the term. That'll tell you whether it's positive or negative, if it needs it to be added or subtracted. So it's important to look for that too. So now we can combine 2x and 5x. 2 plus 5 is 7, so we have 7x. And then this plus 3 is going to stay the same. We didn't do anything to it. And same with the negative 11 on the other side. Now we can solve this, solve this like a normal two-step equation. So we'll start by subtracting 3 from both sides. That gives us 7x. And negative 11 minus 3 is negative 14. Now to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides by 7. And we get x is equal to negative 2. So let's take a look at another one. This equation is 3y minus 14 plus 12 equals 4. Remember, we always start by combining our like terms. So our like terms on this left side are negative 14, or minus 14, and positive 12. So to combine those, we want to do negative 14 plus 12, which will give us negative 2. Our 3y here stays the same, so we have 3y minus 2 equals 4. And now we solve like a two-step equation by adding 2 to both sides, which will leave us with 3y on the left side, and 4 plus 2 is 6. And then to solve for y, all we have to do is divide both sides by 3. So we have y equals 6 divided by 3 is 2. Before we go, let's take a look at one more problem together. 6x plus 9 minus 2x equals 13 minus 2. Now notice for this problem, we can combine like terms on both the left and the right sides. So on the left side, our like terms are 6x and negative 2x. So 6x minus 2x is 4x. And then our plus 9 stays the same. Then on the right side, our like terms are 13 and negative 2. 13 minus 2 is 11. So we combine those like terms to get 11 on the right side. Now we solve by subtracting 9 by on both sides. So we have 4x equals 11 minus 9 is 2. And we solve for x by dividing both sides by 4. So x equals 2 over 4. Now this fraction isn't in simplest form, so to have a proper answer, we'll want to do that. To simplify this fraction, we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So x is equal to 1 half. And that's all there is to it. I hope that this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and happy studying.